cool with it. He said, quote, I, I don't own a number. Uh, Stephen A., should MJ have a problem with it? No, not at all. MJ, first of all, MJ is as cool as, as, as anybody. He doesn't sweat <laughs> stuff like this uh, because he knows what he's done. Um, and as far as he's concerned, the Jordan brand represents who he is more than the number 23. Remember, he also wore the number 45. But I think that for me, when I look, again, it doesn't change my position on LeBron from the perspective of, you know, again, I don't have a problem with whatever number he wants to wear. He's earned it. I'm just simply saying because he's on the record and everybody can pull up those quotes about what he said about what 23 means to him, what mm -hmm. it should mean to everybody associated with the game mm -hmm. of basketball, and that that was the reason why yeah. he wouldn't wear the number anymore. Well, then why years later are you wearing it now? That's my only issue. I mean, I don't know. I haven't spoken to him or his peeps, uh, but I was just uh, my, my thinking is, is that if you said that was the reason that you wouldn't wear the number 23, then I'm sorry, there's nothing in Jordan's stature that's changed for you to change your mind. The same thing that you said about Jordan yeah. years ago still applies. Mm -hmm. It's not changing. Well, does it still apply? I don't and, and know. Of course it does. Of course it does. When he talked about, because again, he wasn't talking about himself. He was talking about what Jordan means to the game of basketball because of his excellence on the court as a champion. Okay. That's what he said. So there, it doesn't matter what LeBron James accomplishes in his career. It doesn't matter what Kobe or anybody else accomplishes in their career. It doesn't change what Michael Jordan mm -hmm. means to the game of basketball. I believe that Michael Jordan has something to do with me being in the position I'm in today. Sure. Because the greatness that he did, that, that, he, that he displayed on a basketball yep. court elevated the popularity of a sport I'm synonymous with. Mm -hmm. So I benefited from the greatness of MJ. I benefited. That's why I'm sitting there. One of the greatest moments. Skip, one of the greatest moments I've ever had in this profession. We were at the finals in Dallas. It was me, and I was on the set with Irvin Magic Johnson, because I believe it's those, it's, it's those guys. It's Magic, it's Bird, it's Isaiah, yeah. it's Jordan. That era mm -hmm. elevated the game of basketball. I'm on the set with Magic Johnson, and to say he is a basketball savant doesn't do him justice. I agree. He was literally, Skip, going like this. Now watch this. This is going to happen. This is going to happen. This is going to happen. Skip, I couldn't believe it. It was, it was literally like I was sitting before a basketball prophet. Everything he said over the course of a 10-minute stretch in a game between Miami and Dallas, in Dallas, during the finals, for a 10-minute stretch on that set, just standing there watching the game, everything he said was going to transpire beforehand exa happened exactly okay. the way that he said it. So I'm just saying that when you're around people that deserve that kind mm -hmm. of credit, it doesn't diminish because the greatness of somebody else followed years later. Mm -hmm. So the same thing LeBron said before applies now okay. about MJ. Okay. So he chose to wear 23. MJ says he's cool with it. Yeah. I think he's beyond cool with it. I, I, I think I know he's he actually amused by it because I think he loves it mm -hmm. when LeBron is compared to MJ because he knows that LeBron will never measure up to MJ, no matter how hard he tries, no matter if he won seven championships, five more in Cleveland, which is that'd be, be a right. tall order. But if he did, he still, I don't think, would ever compare to but MJ six for six with six MVPs. Can, 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 can I twist this up a little bit and ask you a question, Skip Bayless? Shove aside the MJ for a second. Is there any question that LeBron James, as we sit here today, is one of the greatest basketball players of all time? Mm. Sure. Is I'll give you that. All right. Okay. So, so it, it's getting to the point where, to me, all we can say about LeBron is that he's not MJ. Or you want to sit there and say, well, is he, he's not even Kobe because Kobe's got five. You could put it that way. Well, you can have that kind of magic. argument. Okay. Okay. All right. We can I'm, keep going. Okay. Uh, I, mean, I guess it's not too many. It's not too many. I mean, listen, I, he's not the winner Magic was, but Magic wasn't. Magic didn't have that kind of talent either. Okay. So why did LeBron James choose to go back to number 23? That's the issue here. Right. Yeah. Why would he do it? Why would he dare to do it? Is it just because he thinks he's beyond the comparisons, like there's no more pressure on him? I kind of think so. Okay. I kind of yeah. think so. I kind of think that... He's not paying much attention to Jordan. I just think he should because of what he said about the number. 
That's my issue. What he I... said about the number is why. But that's the only reason I feel that way. Okay, so should I read into it that he no longer wants to honor MJ, though he does honor, but he wants to again challenge MJ? Is that not the, the I message? I, I don't know. I think, I, think, I, think, I think it's fair. I think his willingness to go back to that number, whether it's one question about honoring or it's another question about the comparison. Okay. I do, I do, I will give you this. It appears to be one or the other. Yeah, it does. It appears to be one okay. or the other. <laughs> and I don't know. I, I'm off the top of my head on this one, but wasn't it within the last year that SI.com reported that LeBron's wallpaper on his phone was, was a Photoshop of him guarding MJ out on or the vice perimeter versa. or vice versa, whichever way it yeah, was. And I want to say this also. This is me going back to MJ. My personal belief, I believe anybody who has an L in an NBA finals has no business being mentioned in the same breath as MJ. Okay, I agree. I, I, I believe and, even if, listen, Russell is the greatest champion, but the level of parity that exists now didn't necessarily exist then. He had a crew with him, the koozies of the world and others. I, I mean, I think differently about it. But for me, MJ, it's not the fact that he has six rings. It's that he's 6-0. and oh, And six NBA Finals MVPs. Thank you. It's like, that's what stands okay. out. He's un And then one last thing. He never, ever, ever allowed a Game 7 to take place in an NBA Finals. You never got that close. Game this over. This dude, he, 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 he cut your throat. It's okay. over. And w that's what stands out to me about MJ. I, I, I hate to bring this up, but for what you just said, for that reason, when I saw that LeBron was going back to 23, you know what stuck in my mind first? What flashed into my mind? was two and three, which is what LeBron is in the finals right now. Oh. He's two and three. Oh. I, not that that's not why he chose the number, oh, but that's not. the first thing I Magic thought of. Magic and Bird and those okay. guys have lost finals, too. I get you. Yep. But MJ, that's why MJ stands out in my mind. It's not the six finals. It's the unblemished record and the unblemished MVP awards in the finals and the fact that he never allowed a Game 7 to take place. All right. Those are the things. Gentlemen, let's talk about another guy who made some news in free agency. Uh, we're going to the Knicks.